And an unhealthy haze covering the Northeast as cities are completely saturated in smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Fox weather meteorologist Jane Minar is in Edgewater, New Jersey this morning with the very latest. Jane, we are still seeing that haze behind Good you. Good morning. What can you tell us? Yeah, it's just a really devastating morning. I mean, the last couple of days have been very hard to get through for a lot of people, young kids, but just the general person, even me, myself, I've had some difficulties getting around. The sun is coming up. It's a bright ball just behind me, and I'm just about a mile from the GWB, George Washington Bridge, and it's completely clouded over. Now, yesterday, New York City saw some of the worst air quality in 40 years. We had air quality index values well into the 400s, and for in comparison, Beijing, China yesterday afternoon had an air quality index of just about 50. And so that's a good reading as far as the hazardous readings that New York City saw. It's the worst air quality that we've seen in such a long time. A lot of people feeling the irritation in their eyes, the scratchiness in their throat, even having some chest pains as they went throughout the afternoon. It was highly recommended that people stay indoors. And even as we go through the day today, it's not until a weather pattern change that we'll see by the weekend that this smoke will start to shift in direction, move out of the tri-state area. But in the meantime, even this morning, we wake up with hazardous air qualities for major metropolitan in areas, including Philadelphia, eastern Pennsylvania, and even up into New York City. Current air quality index values sitting in the 400s for major areas, places like Allentown, PA, in the 300s. And this is just another day that we're going to have to get by. A lot of the Thick smoke has continued to travel, travel a little bit further down to the south, but it's been plumes of smoke that have continued to cross over the border for nearly 9 million acres of wildfires in Canada. Maria. Wow, that is just incredible, Jane. Thanks very much.